Hello everybody, good morning, welcome back to Domination Reading Channel's live pre-stream podcast. Woohoo, everything is back, feels good, hope you guys are doing good today. I'm gonna go ahead and get the stream started. Hey, Adi made it in here quick today, good morning, Cyan Cuber made it in second. The Goat Gaming, the greatest of all time, I like it, good name, welcome to the channel. Good morning, everybody. It is what Monday? Woohoo! Yeah, we're gonna get this uh, pre-stream going, and then we're gonna do some reading. Hey, good morning, Frank. Nice to see you. Hope you guys are all doing good today. And he says, "I made it first. You did, Adi. You were first. Brody, you made it back. Good to see you, bro. Nice to see you. Long time since you've been here. Absolutely." Goat Gaming says, "You forgot of me? I did not forget you, Goat. Of course, I remember the greatest of all time gaming. How could you forget it?" <laughs> I says, did you see the drawing of you as a Hindu god? Yes, I did, and I have it saved, so yeah, we'll be using that as a background soon, don't worry. Frank says, just got home from school. Wow, Frank, good timing. Good timing. Adi says that I made. Yep, I have it, Adi. I definitely got it. We're going to be using it as a background. Yep, for sure. It's good. You did a good job. So how's everybody doing today? You guys having a good Monday already? We're going to start off our day by doing the podcast, which we're doing right now. And uh, there's a yawn for you. And then once the podcast is over, we're going to jump into the Trials of Apollo. We got Chapter 34 we're going to do. And then after that, we got some more stuff to do. So you guys are going to get some good good uh, videos today. We're going to do it. Now that my power and everything's back on, yesterday was horrible. So we missed out on some stuff yesterday, but we'll make up for it today. Uh, let's see. Go Game says, good. Oh, sorry, guys. I got to get all the yawns out. I just woke up like 10 minutes ago. Victoria says, hi there. Good morning, Victoria. Nice to see you. Adi says... Uh, most powerful weapon in Hindu mythology. Pickler says, hi, good morning, Pickler, nice to see you. Adi says, seconds. Brody says, bro, I got back at the right time. Apparently, what happened? How'd it go? Adi says, but you have someone in the drawing. Frank says, should I put the link in Discord, or has that not done it? I don't know if it did or not. It looks like, I mean, there's people in here, so it looks like the uh, notification did go out. Brody says, Trials of Apollo is back. You are right, Brody, it is. Yesterday was was uh was a rough one though yesterday we were reading and uh jason died yesterday so yeah the trials of apollo is back and there's a lot going on pickler says how's your daily word of wisdom now i will leave no pickler don't leave hang out with us hang out with us chill with us read with us adi says i'm og you're getting there adi you're getting there <laughs> Brody says, bro, what? Yeah, I know, Brody, I know. And people have been, like, hinting at it, and then when it actually happened, I was like, oh, my gosh. Because uh, he doesn't kill off his characters too much. He usually keeps his characters around, and that's one of the good things about his books is he, he, his characters live, and you can enjoy the characters in other books. Yeah. And so I guess we're going to see today the fallout of that and what happened and everything. So we're going to do it as soon as we're done. That's why this is a pre-stream, because we're doing a, a stream before the stream. So we, we read right now. Or, I mean, we talk right now. We get everybody in the room. We hang out. And then we jump into the book since people are here. And it, it works out very nice. Uh, Frank says, yeah, it was sad. It was. Go Games says, spoilers. Nope, no spoilers. I don't spoil. It's something I read about yesterday. So how could it be a spoiler if we read about it yesterday? Adi says, I'm watching a serial called something. Episode is 40 minutes. That's cool, Adi. What's it about? Arnav is back. Hey, Arnav. Good morning. How you doing? Good to see you again. So, you guys, let's give a shout out to Chris. Chris is Poseidon, god of the sea. Chris is uh, our first god in the channel. So, Chris is uh, Poseidon. No one else can take that name but Chris. So. Chris is the god of the seas and earthquakes. And let's give a shout out to Scotty. Scotty's our demigod, our local resident demigod, Scotty. Adi says there are 93 episodes total. Wow. 
Frank says, I put the link on Discord anyways. Cool, thanks, Frank. Fro Chase Lover is here. Good morning, Fro Chase Lover. Nice to see you. I'm glad you made it. Arnav says, I'm fine, thanks. Good morning. Good morning to you too, buddy. Brody says, you, have you all watched Mulan yet? I watched it yesterday, Brody. Um, I watched it. I watched the whole thing. It was kind of tough to watch. I'm not going to lie. Um, I liked it. It was okay. But uh, it was it was really weird, as in kind of boring, kind of bland, and just, I don't know. It was just, I don't know. I'm not, I like, I like the story Mulan especially the old one, the old mythology story. And I like the Disney version of Mulan. But this live action, it was just kind of, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm just not a huge fan of it, I guess. Um, Frank says, Chris and Scotty are legendary. Absolutely are. MF says, it's 5.50 a.m. Oof. I says, Pavarotti realizing that she you always say so many things I cannot read Adi because I just can't understand <laughs> I'm sorry I, I try to read your messages but I can pronounce like none of what you're saying so I'll keep trying but <laughs> I'm sorry if I slaughter it Fero just Fero Chase Lover says I haven't watched it Brody says I agree it was alright yeah it was alright that's that's the best I can say about it it was alright it wasn't bad it was just it was alright Frank says I prefer the animated version so do I Arnav says PM. Adi says it's 5:51 PM here. Amaf says yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry about last night, guys, that we didn't get a chance to do on many of the Last of Us or the Lightning Thief, but I will make up for today. I promise. Um, I did order some more stuff for my fish tank also, so tomorrow stuff will get here. I have some kind of um green, grassy kind of algae growing in there. And um, my, my crab is supposed to get rid of it, but he's not. So I ordered some things called Mexican Turbo Snails and a Lawnmower Blenny, and they're supposed to eat it. So we'll see. Hopefully. Hopefully. Oh, yawn. Ooh, I'm trying to wake up, guys. I want to read the um, Trials of Apollo, so i got to get all the yawns out so I can read it without yawning. <laughs> Uh, Victoria Ann is back. Nice to see you, Victoria Ann. She says, I invited a new member to join us. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. That's how we grow. And I want to grow, so please invite people. Hi, says, Adi Shakti. Arnav says, same time zone. Brody says, but the Phoenix, Mushu is like my favorite character. Yeah, I know, right? They totally took him away. I mean, not that they took him away, but they didn't give him a part anymore. Um, Cyan Cuber says, there was no singing in Mulan. No, and it was very bland, like it was. Like, they had no expression. Like, most of the movie, no one had any expression, so it was weird. Adi says, Mahakali. Adi says, there you go, directions for pronouncing the names. Thank you. Frank says, we have a bookshelf reveal. Can we have a bookshelf reveal? Um, I don't really have a bookshelf anymore, Frank. Um, I have books scattered everywhere. I have books sitting in boxes, I have books on dressers, I have books in drawers, um, I have some books sideways on a shelf, I have books on tables, uh, <laughs> I have books everywhere, but not necessarily a bookshelf. Fear Chase Lover says, I thought The Lion King 2019 was alright, but it was terrible. I have not seen it, I wasn't interested in seeing it. The Lion King was so good, it was such a good thing. And the, the animated version, like, everything about The Lion King was good. From the characters being lovable and memorable, to the singing songs were great songs, to the story being a good story. Like, it was so good in every way, there was no reason to remake it. So I wasn't even interested in seeing the remake. I says, I have two places where I keep books. The first one moves and is disorganized. Arnav says... Books. Brody, are you sick, Dom? You sound like you're stuffed in the nose. Oh, no. I sound like this when I first wake up, Brody. Um, I don't think I'm sick. I'm not sure. But I'm, I don't think I am. But when I first wake up, when I'm, like, really tired, and, I, like, it's hard for me to wake up sometimes just because I'm so passed out and I don't like waking up early in the morning, I sound like this. That's why one of the reasons we do the pre-stream. So that way I can, like, shake all this out and sound more awake and be more clear when I read when I do my readings. So, yeah, that, that, like I said, that's exactly why we do the pre-stream in the first place. It was because 
we got to be able to make the reading sound good. And if I read like this, my voice doesn't sound as good as it will in like 10 minutes from now. Victoria says, animation is bad, Fiero. I don't agree. Adi says, the second one is all my favorite books from uh, PHO to Harry Potter. Frank says, my mom rages if I don't put my books on the shelf. <laughs> Sorry, Frank. Adi says, first one is like a trolley. PJ Army, not PHO. Sign Keeper says, oh, Yari. <sighs> Thank you guys for putting up with my yawning. <laughs> I can't imagine if that's annoying or not. Sign Keeper says, I bet someday the future Frozen will have a live action movie. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. Fiero Chase Lover says, Aladdin live action 2019 is amazing. Uh, Fiero, I have the same thought process with Aladdin as I do with The Lion King. Um, I like the, the Aladdin so much. Now, I did watch the um, live action Aladdin. Reason being is because Aladdin has been done so many times in so many different ways, I didn't feel like it would ruin it. So, the one with Will Smith, I watched it, and I liked it. It was okay. Um, it wasn't as good as the original um, anime, though, but it was still pretty good. Victoria says, yeah. Arnav says, and a banana. Victoria says, speechless. Did you guys, <laughs> Arnav, did you watch the last Anna Banana? Did you see the one versus the T-Rex? It was pretty good. It was pretty good. I think it's the closest Anna has ever come and the farthest she's ever come at the same time to winning. <laughs> it was definitely a, definitely a plot twist at the end. Arnav says, yeah, I did. Frank says, that was the longest yawn I've ever heard. You should do world records. <laughs> it's because I tried not to yawn what it is, Frank, is I feel the yawn coming, and I know it yawns are because you don't have enough oxygen coming in. So I try and breathe in really fast to get more oxygen, and then I try and stall it, and then when it gets you like it's getting me right now. <sighs> that was yawn because we're talking about yawning. Um, it was just like, oh, great, here's a yawn. Not too late now. Might as well just give in. <laughs> Uh, he says there's also an Indian version of Aladdin that's very old, made in the 1950s, and is live action in black and white. Yeah, Aladdin's been done hundreds of ways. Not as many ways as Alice in Wonderland, but uh, it's been done quite a few different ways. Or Peter Pan. It hasn't been done as much as either one of those. McFreezy, cool name. Welcome, McFreezy. Are you new? If you are, let's give McFreezy some claps. Good morning, McFreezy. Welcome to the channel. Fiore Chase Lover says the daddy T-Rex was mad and Anna killed the baby T-Rex. Chris Lowell, Chris is here, everybody. Good morning, Chris. All hail Poseidon, god of the sea. Our god is here today. Welcome back, Poseidon. Nice to see you. Brody says nostalgia is probably what makes people watch the remakes. Probably, Brody. Probably. Or the fact that they're so old that uh, people want to see what it was all about, so they remake it, and uh, they remake it to uh, current versions. Adi says, welcome. Frank says, all hail, Chris. McFreezy says, hello, I've been here for a while. I just miss all the streams because of the time zones. Well, I'm glad you made it today, McFreezy. Thank you. We are in the presence of Chris, who is the god Poseidon, lord of the seas. Arnav says, who has the biggest yawn, Anna Banana or Dom? I've never heard Anna Banana yawn. Fiora Chase Lover retracted her message. Adi says, I'm the god of drawing Hindu gods. Everyone worship me. Victoria says, I have to go to school tomorrow. No, Victoria, no. We like it when you're here, Victoria. Adi says, Dom has. Victoria says, bye. Bye, Victoria. Arnav says, nah. <laughs> Oh, we got 10 people in here. We got 10. We're doing good in the double digits, guys. I like it. I'm proud of you guys. Good job. Frank says, please don't smite us, Chris. Um, actually, that's one of the powers I didn't put on the um on the Patreon yet, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have it as a power. Gods do have the power to smite. So Chris, since he's Poseidon, if Chris wants to smite anybody at any time, for any reason, I have to smite you. That's, that's the power of a god. Sorry. If Chris says... Like, let's just say Victoria just said bye, right? And Chris says, um, I want you to smite Victoria's message. I smite it. He, he's the god. He's Poseidon. Poseidon has that power. That's one of the abilities that you get for being a tier 3 Patreon, is you get to smite anybody at any time for any reason. You don't even need a reason. 
You're a god. You can do it just because you feel like it. I'm going to put that on my Patreon today once we're done with the streams. So that way people know that you have the power to smite. If you want to try it, Chris, let me know. If you want to smite anybody for any reason. <laughs> uh, let's see. Video Chase Summer says, Yawns, hello, Poseidon, God of the Sea. D's back. Welcome, D. Nice to see you. Hello. Brody says, school starts at 9 for me. Adi says, by the way, I got one person on your Discord. Thank you, Adi. That's cool. Frank says, no. McFreezy says, school starts tomorrow morning for me. Arnav says, Anna Banana versus Kronos. Ooh. Adi says, worship me. Well, if you were a god, Adi, you would definitely get worshipped. Just like we all worship Chris. <laughs> Adi says, as the god of drawing Hindu gods. <laughs> Wow, 11. I'm so proud of you guys. Like, seriously. You guys are coming out today. I like it. Thank you. Making my, making my Monday morning a good morning, guys. I appreciate that a lot. Arnav says, nah. D says, MF, she won't stand the chance. Yeah, I don't think Anna could, could really beat Kronos. I mean, she hasn't won yet. We gotta find out what, what Anna can win against. <laughs> Arnav says K. Brody says I think demigods are cooler. NGL, sorry, Chris. <laughs> well, I mean it depends. So some are cooler, some aren't. Uh, and because I mean, think about it. Um, Nico's definitely cooler, right? Than some gods. I mean Dionysus. I mean, there's some gods that are cooler than some demigods. What about Octavian? Octavian's a dev demigod. Do you guys think Octavian is cool? Oh, see. Uh, let's see. Brody says, no, wait. Frank says, Anna Banana versus Anna Banana. I could do that one day. D says, no one got my lame pun. I got it. I got it. It's actually a pun that they use in The Lightning Thief. So, yeah, I definitely got it. McFreezy says, my mom's getting mad at I have to go. Sorry. No, McFreezy, why is she getting mad? Why would your mom get mad at you hanging out with a bunch of nice people in a family-friendly channel with a really good supportive community that reads books? <laughs> Tell your mom, this is like the nicest, safest place that you could hang out on the internet. This is definitely not a place to get mad at you. We don't even swear in here. We just read nice books to people and support each other. Fair Chase Lover says, Anna Banana versus the Toilet. That's a pretty good idea. I do like that one. D says, Anna Banana versus Anna Banana from a parallel universe. <clears throat> Adi says, I want to learn, want to learn Hindi, come to India and go to school. Bam, Hindu every day. That's a good idea. Frank says, smite Brody Chris, he disgraced you. <laughs> uh, D says, um, Benadope. Adi says, Anna from the Parallel. McFreezy says, it's my bad, it's 10.30 for me, I'm sorry. No, it's okay, McFreezy, thank you for showing up. We appreciate your support. Thank you for being here. I look forward to you coming back next time. Brody says, well, living as a human doesn't have powers would be dope. I want to live forever and, lo and lose my loved ones. Fear Chase Lover says, Anna Banana versus a Microwave. That's a really good idea. Although, the only thing I worry about is putting a radioactive material in a microwave. I'll have to look into that. Uh, RNF says, I know Hindi. Nice. Fear of Chase Lover says, Anna Banana versus Oven. That's also a good idea, Anna Banana. Uh, Fear of Chase Lover. I called Fear of Chase Lover Anna Banana. That's also a good idea, Fear of Chase Lover, but I don't know how long it would take. In my videos, I try and keep them under 30 seconds. Uh, D says, I want more cornflakes, but but the package is over. Huh? Everybody, let's, Big D needs some cornflakes. Big D. I used to eat cornflakes when I was younger, and I would put, like, way too much sugar on them. <laughs> Frank says, Anna Banana versus a cat. Um, Frank, I have also thought about that one. The only problem is my cats will probably just, like, look at it and be like, meh, we don't care. They won't, like, you know, attack it and go crazy on it, which is what would make it interesting. Adi says, I know Hindi as well. Why do you think I told? Uh, D says, who doesn't love cornflakes? I don't know if I love or not love cornflakes. All I know is that I love cornflakes with much, much sugar on them. <laughs> so it's probably the sugar that I love, not the cornflakes so much. Bean Boy made it back. Nice to see you, Bean Boy. Good morning. Brody says, then Anna Banana will win. Arnaz says, Anna Banana. <laughs> Alright, so, just so you guys a heads up on what we're doing today, it is Monday, so after the podcast, um, I'm going to jump right into the Trials of Apollo, 
Uh, we got chapter 34 to read today. So after this podcast, don't go anywhere. Trials of Apollo is immediately after. And then quite soon after that, we're going to go into The Lightning Thief Remastered. And we are on chapter 14? No, chapter 15. And that's going to be a long one today, because I read The Lightning Thief um, chapter by chapter, not in five-minute intervals. We just read the whole chapter. And 15 is a long chapter. So that's going to be at least 30 to 40 minutes straight, which is not easy for me to do. But we're going to do it today, so you guys stay tuned for that. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm really working hard to make long, pleasant videos for you guys. Because you know how like, I read um, The Legend uh, or The Childs of Apollo in five-minute parts? That's that's easy for me to do. I can do five minutes, no problem. But the Lightning Thief, I'm doing in full chapters, so it is very difficult for me to read for you know 30 to 40 minutes at one time. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoy it. Let me know what you think. Um, Adi says, Michael, why don't you try eating Indian snacks like kukuri and tell if it's spicy? Um, Adi, I don't eat spicy foods. Like I like a little spice, but I don't like hot. And reason being is because I don't eat super um, super five alarm fire truck hot foods because I don't like having super five alarm fire truck stuff come out my back end and having a super five alarm hot fire truck butt <laughs> I don't I don't enjoy that or appreciate that feeling at all so I don't really do spicy um, if I had Indian snacks that were not spicy I would eat them because I am a huge huge fan of snacks and candies from other parts of the world uh, I used to even get Japan box candies and they, just, they raised their price so much and became too expensive that I stopped doing it. But I would love doing those. Um, I even have a bunch of videos on my channel, if you guys go through my playlists, of me ordering Japan Crate and trying out the candy in the boxes. Um, I got like five or six videos of that. And uh, what I would do is I would get the box and I would open it on camera and I would show you everything that came in the box and then try it out. So I'm a huge fan of that kind of thing. Um, D says, I, I like to add some mayo or custard to the flakes as a dip and eat it raw. Wow, that sounds interesting. Almost like um, Rice Krispie treats, right? But with uh, frosted with um, corn flakes instead. Arnav says, yeah. Fio Chase Lover says, Anna Banana versus the kitties. Tie Anna Banana to their toys. <laughs> Frank says, Anna Banana versus the boots. That's not a bad idea. Um, Frank, that might be one closer to Anna Banana versus a government official because the government officials were in boots, right? D says Anna Banana versus Socks. Adi says then don't eat it. Adi says I can bear because it's Indian have to eat spicy food from childhood. Brody says I know how Magnus Chase would cross paths with Percy Jackson. Um, actually Magnus Chase does cross paths with Percy Jackson. Um, it's in a book called Demigods and Magicians. Uh, Percy and Annabeth meet the Canes. So, oh maybe it's not maybe it's not Magnus Chase maybe it's the Canes. My bad. But they do meet the Canes, at least, in a crossover, and I like crossovers. Uh, Arna says, only Indians can handle spicy foods, pani puree. Fio Chase Lover says, Anna Banana versus Socks, just tie Anna Banana to one of her toys. Adi says, eat papadi, it's sweet and delicious, or get stuff from Karachi. Sign Kieber says, read Magnus Chase. Uh, Sign Kieber, that is on my list. Absolutely is. Don't worry, that will be coming soon, especially if we get enough people. Chris Lovell says, I feel like my son is going to be very angry again today. Why is your son going to be very angry? What did you do to Percy? I mean, since you're Poseidon, that your, your son is Percy, right? Why is he going to be angry? Names are hard is back. We haven't seen you in a while. Welcome back, Names are hard. You have such a cool name. I can always remember you. D says, your American hot sauce isn't spicy as Indian chili chicken. That is not true, D. That is not true. I have stuff in my cabinet right now that is um, one, no, five million Scovilles. And I, I'm not sure what kind of Indian chilled chicken you have, but I guarantee that that stuff is hotter. Like, you, you, you're you supposed to put, like, half of a drop in a bowl of chili. That's how hot this stuff is. Um, I'm sure every country has something that's just as hot, and everything can have 5 million scovels. But we, I'm not saying that ours is hotter than yours, but I'm saying that I'm sure we can compete. Adi says yes, because his cousin is Annabeth. Bean Boy says, and in the last Magnus Chase book, Adi says... Pani Puni, Pani Puri. Uh, Brody says, "I know how tough. I know how. Though I don't know if it's a spoiler. So yeah, please don't spoil. If, if you think it might be a spoiler, just don't say it. Trust me, it's it's better just not to." Uh, Adi says, "Karachi." Firo Chase Lover says, "Yes, Magnus Chase. Yes, Firo, it's coming. Don't worry." Um, D says, "Karachi Bushies." 
Frank says Magnus Chase is epic. Arnav says not near. You don't know. Ha ha. Uh, I says, <laughs> Arnav, you're crazy. I'm, I'm sure your stuff is super hot, but our stuff is also super hot. One will burn your tongue. The other will burn your tongue. <laughs> um, Adi says, by the way, we like to eat ghost peppers and it's not spicy. Uh, names are hard. Says moving is hard. We were basically all day yesterday, but now we've got beds in the new house. So we're actually living there. Good. Congratulations. Names are hard. I'm glad. Uh, D says, but they're sweet. I won't eat much. I says we're very spicy stuff. Just spice and a lot of American stuff. Yeah, that's probably true, Adi. I believe that. Uh, names are hard. Says so sorry for missing out yesterday. Oh, it's okay. I'm glad you're here now. Well, welcome back to the channel. Adi says you pronounce correctly. Oh, I got lucky then. That's all that was. Brody says, yo, Dom, do you have a Magnus Chase read-through? Not yet, Brody, but it is in the works. Um, I just had to get permission, and it takes time, and I'm also doing so many other books right now. I just need an opening. Fro Chase Lover says, Anna Banana versus a Hammer? That was the first one I did. I did Anna Banana versus a Sledgehammer. D says, the only hard part of moving is getting lost in the house because we don't remember the directions. That's a big house if you need directions in your house. Arnav says, ah, leave it. <laughs> Adi says, pronounce Mahishawar. D says, Peaches. Adi says, Virbrata. Hold on a second. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something for you. I'm gonna, I'll be right back. Let me grab this out of the kitchen. I'll be right back. I'm back, and I'm going to do something in the background for you guys. Um, I don't normally uh, say that, you know, our stuff is stronger or not than someone else. That's not my thing. But um, I specifically bought this for this reason. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this in the background right now, and we're going to do a, we're going to do a test. Um, actually, I should just Google. All right, so... So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you something. Um, Armav, tell me what the um, that that's the thing is that you were talking about, which is really spicy. Tell me about the, something that's really, really, really hot or really spicy that you think is so hot that that something in America can't compare. I want to show you something. I want to show you how it's done. Um, uh, Real Omega says stream started, huh? Yeah, stream started uh, almost a half an hour ago. Frank says 12 people, yay. Names Heart says, Nah, I go where this house getting lost is an issue, but carrying heavy stuff in trucks in 110 degree weather all day is. Yeah, Names. Um, I've done that before a few times, and I completely agree. Adi says, Thank you, Regis. Uh, Names of Heart says, Dang it, Arizona weather. Actually, I did it in Arizona. Wow, that's coincidence. I was in Mesa, Arizona, when I did a lot of my moving. So, yeah, Names, I definitely agree. I, I know a lot about uh, moving stuff in Mesa, Arizona. Real Mega says, I just came right now. Welcome back, Real Mega. Arnav says, yeah. D says, um, also, P.S. Adi, I'm a girl. D says, you can call me D. Uh, Adi says, Kukri. Um, okay, P-A-N-N-I, Pure. Okay, let's check it out. Okay, Scoville is how you rate hot stuff, okay? How many Scoville units is, is Pan and Pure, okay? Scoville is how you rate the hot stuff of something, okay? So, say, Scoville is a, is a list of chili peppers and their Scoville heats, okay? So let's see what it says. Let's see if it has a Scoville rating. Okay. Okay, so what this is saying is right here. It's saying it has 1 million, okay, 1 million Scoville. That's really, really hot, okay? It says 1 million on the Scoville scale, okay? That is very, very hot, okay? Now, my hot sauce is called the end, okay? So let's see. How many Scoville is the end? This is what I got right now in my hand. This is what I got in my hand. This is it right here. Six million Scoville units. So your your puree, whatever it is, that sounds good. My stuff is six times hotter. Six times hotter. 
It's number five in the in the world for anything possibly made. So that's what I'm just trying to say. I'm sure your stuff is really, really hot. Um, but I specifically found this stuff because it's supposed to be that hot and I wanted to try it. And I put half of a drop on a potato chip and ate it and I, my mouth was burning for like a half an hour. Chris says, I shall send an ocean breeze your way, Reedy. Chris, thank you. Chris, send us some ocean breezes, please. Especially if we're doing hot stuff, hot sauce stuff. And a banana versus a bath tube. Names of Heart says, I lived in Phoenix, Arizona all my life. Eleven not live anywhere else. Doesn't make the weather any sense easier, though. True, but you could always go up to Flagstaff and, and see snow whenever you want. You can't be that far from Flagstaff. Flagstaff, you can't even go skiing. And a banana versus a chef's knife. Chef's knife. Adi says, um... It doesn't. No, it doesn't at all. D says, "Oh, come on, Penny Puri isn't that spicy? A million Scoville is pretty spicy. Don't don't get me wrong. A million Scoville is hell so spicy. You guys want to see what a ghost pepper is? Watch, watch. Here you go. How many Scoville units is a ghost pepper? A ghost pepper is the same as the uh, as the um uh, puree." <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Mr. Miller says, I just joined the Discord channel. Thank you, Mr. Miller. I appreciate it. Oh, there's my voice. You guys hear it? It just came like perfect. You guys heard that after I coughed? It's reading voice now. You hear that? I'm back. I can do voices again. I can read. It sounds like I'm awake. We can do the voices. Woohoo! That's right. It all just happened all at once. D says, only my mom's chili chicken is. Frank says, when we moved the house, it was a bigger house in our neighborhood, so I sometimes walk past my old one. Oh, that's cool. Adi says, I can probably eat that thing. Um, I bet you really could eat ghost peppers, Adi. I completely believe you. So does Arnev. I believe it completely. Uh, Adi says, I can probably eat the hot sauce, and I'm a kid. I do not think that you can eat the end hot sauce normally. That's 5 million Scovilles, man. 5 million Scovilles is no joke. That'll, like, kill you if you, eat the, if you drink the bottle. Uh, you could actually die from drinking the bottle. There's a warning label on the bottle saying you will die if you drink it. Like, two too much of it. Fio Chase Lover says, I'm sleepy. Adi says, it's no spicy. <laughs> okay. Brody says, Anna Banana versus Frying Pan at 100 degrees. Uh, we, we could probably do an Anna Banana versus Frying Pan. D says, I can drink raw hot sauce as a challenge you want me to. I do not want you to, my friend. Please don't do that. Adi says, yeah. Fio Chase Lover says, Anna Banana versus a Ghost Pepper. Sign Keeper says, Dom, did you buy your Anna Bananas and Tartarus? <laughs> Brody says, oh my god, bro, your voice is back. It is. It's like it all came back at once. It was nice. Names of Heart says, I've never been to Flagstaff, actually. I don't know why, to be honest. My parents just don't get many days off. I like to spend them lazy at home, and I can't drive despite being 20. Do it, dude. I've been to Flagstaff quite a few times. It's weird, because I had to drive through Flagstaff um, on my way to um, Vegas one day, and it was like 110 degrees out. I'm like, oh, god, I'm dying. And then um, I, my parents were driving, and I woke up like a half an hour later because I was cold. So I went from being burning up to, like, looking out the window, and it was, like, snow and ice everywhere. And I'm like, holy cow, what the what? How did it happen in a half an hour? And then an hour later, we were out of Flagstaff, and it was back to being hot. You, it was like the snow must have been a dream. All that snow and ice must have been a dream because it was too hot again. <clears throat> um, you Americans are deprived of spices. D, D, 5 million Scoville is not being deprived of spices. Five million or six was it six million? <laughs> that is not being deprived. D, look, six million. <clears throat> That's six times the hottest thing you told me about. <clears throat> Idi says, I feel like I ate the kukri. Uh, it says Anna Banana versus your mouth. <laughs> Leo Valdez, are ghost peppers too spicy for you? No, they're not spicy. I eat them because they're delicious. Uh, no, Kukri is kind of sweet. Check how spicy uh, Kukri is. Um, check uh, Michael Kukri. Okay, let's check that. Let's check it. Um, well, let's see. <coughs> <clears throat> um, that's saying measured at 100 also. So it looks like a lot of Indian food is around a million, which is a lot. Which is a real lot. As, as a comparison, just so you guys know, you guys know red Tabasco sauce that's regular? That's only 2,000 to 5,000. That's just regular red Tabasco sauce. 
most Indian food which he's telling me about are a million, and a million is a lot more than 5,000. And then the stuff I have is 6 million. Uh, Chris says, is Insane Dom quite hot? Yeah, Chris, you are absolutely right. <laughs> Frank says, I saw snow for the first time a week ago because it doesn't snow here in South Africa. Well, congratulations. Was it nice? I love snow. Snow is beautiful. I like looking at it. I don't necessarily like being in it. I eat raw mango pickle for lunch with the side of curd rice. Ooh. Names of Heart says, that sounds amazing seeing snow falling. Emphasis on falling. Like, I want to see it actually fall. It's on my bucket list. Yeah, that it is. I love watching snow. And there's a feeling that you get when you're outside, like on, on a day when there's no wind at night. I, I don't know about daytime. But at night, when it's perfectly clear outside, there's no wind, and it's silence, and it starts to snow, there's like this placid feeling that comes over your body. There's this, it's almost like nostalgia. And it just feels nice. Like the whole world is just, there for you and the snow starts falling and it's just a, a, a tranquility hits you I don't know what it is or why the, the mixture of quiet and snow at night but it's just a beautiful beautiful feeling and I've had it and I've been in other parts of the world and other parts of the world where it happens it's the same feeling it's really really nice um, River Girl made it hey River Girl nice to see you hi Aram says, no, cooker are not spicy. Frank says, hi, River Girl. Well, then it's not spicy to you because you're Indian. You're used to eating that kind of stuff. To to weak, sad people like me, that's a lot of spice. Uh, D says, yeah, if you want real spice to come to India, you can also save that money for your training yourselves or tanning yourselves. <laughs> Wizmonkey says, Bob, Wizmonkey's back. Wizmonkey's been a big supporter lately. It's nice to see you, Wizmonkey. Chris says, check Mad Dog 357. That's a good one. I, I, I know that's on the list, too. Let me check that one out. Mad Dog 357, I, I've definitely seen that on the list. I almost bought some. Um, how many Scovilles? There it is. Yeah, it's, it, it even pops up. Um, that says... Oh, that's not much at all. I mean, it's much. I mean, that's honestly, that's a lot. 357,000, but uh, my stuff is 6 million. <laughs> yeah, I brought it into work one day, and uh, I brought in some potato chips, and I'm like, everybody can just take half a drop. So everybody's like, okay, it can't be that hot. And they're like, I want to do a full drop. I'm like, don't do a full drop. Half drops. And everybody's like, yeah, well, I could do it. And so everybody was doing half drops, and nobody wanted to do a full drop after one drop. Like, everyone was like, oh, my God. <laughs> It was crazy. It was so funny. I was laughing because people's eyes were watering. Their faces were turning red after just half of a drop. It was so funny. <clears throat> um, D says, South India. I don't know if it says, ha ha. Wizmonkey says, hi, Don Bob. Pharaoh Chase Lover says, I'm sorry, but I'm extremely sleepy. I can't stay awake. No, no. Pharaoh Chase Lover, we're about to read. D says, hello, River Girl. Brody says, after this cast... Is the TOA since Jason died? I don't feel so great. Yeah, we're we're doing um. Actually, I'm about to stop the stream to do trials of follow. We stayed a little bit extra today, which is good because there's a bunch of people in here, and I don't mind streaming extra if there's people in here. Um, we're at 38 minutes. I was gonna stop at 30, but you guys are being so fun and so interactive today that I just kept talking, and I'm gonna keep talking for a couple minutes. Um, names hard says it sounds like it came straight out of a movie. <laughs> I know. Uh, Wiz Monkey says Bob. Um, D says, sorry, we're discussing about Indian spicy food. Wizmonkey says, yay, Bob. Names of Heart says, I have zero spice tolerance personally. Same. Adi says, do you know what drinks? Ew. A river girl says, ooh. D says, it probably tastes like, you know. Uh, Wizmonkey says, spicy, Bob. Firo Chase Lover says, I'm sorry, Dom. It's okay, Firo. I'm so happy you're here. I'm sorry you gotta leave, though. Like, normally you stay for this time period. Well, I hope you have a good dream, and I hope you come back. We'll miss you. Um, who is this? Prajeev Reedy? Prajeev, are you new? Prajeev, if you're new to the channel, everybody, let's give Prajeev some claps. Welcome to the channel. Hello, everybody. Everybody, welcome uh, Prajeev to the channel. Says Binod. That's obviously Indian. Arnav says it's mythology. Wizmonkey says, who else is happy when Jason died, Bob? Hey, that's not nice. Uh, D says a bunch of words I can't say. Brody says, speaking of hot sauce, it reminds me of hot ones. Yeah, I watched it. It's a... Uh, um, a show on uh, YouTube. It's pretty funny. I like it too, watching people eat different stuff while they're chatting. Uh, Dom says, don't flex your spices. The hottest stuff you can get, the hottest stuff I can get is 400,000. 
<laughs> I'm not flexing. I'm just saying that I, I found it and I wanted it, so I bought it, and it, it was much hotter than I expected. I tried it. Believe me, it, it destroyed my mouth. <laughs> Wiz says, clap, Bob. Everybody's clapping. Good job. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you being so happy to, uh, new to everybody. Brady says, hey, do you know who is Binod? I don't. I'm not sure. Brody says, people go crazy at the last sauce. Yeah, true, because it's always the hottest. Adi says, Rajesh, do you not wear shirts? Fear Chase Lover says, yawns. Normally you have to make me stay because I'm handcuffed. Yeah, I know. You know what? Actually, 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 I'm sorry. I do have to do this. I'm sorry you're tired and I'm sorry you're, you're yawning, but click, click, click. I, I'm, I'm making sure the handcuffs are on and tight, not too tight to hurt your wrists, but you're handcuffed. You're not going nowhere. You have to stay. That's just how it is, Fiero. I'm sorry, but you're handcuffed, and that's what that means. You are not allowed to leave. Uh, and maybe I'll stream for 12 hours, too, just because you're trying to leave. You try and leave, and then I stream for 12 hours, and you have to stay the whole time. <laughs> Adi says, I mean, D. Wiz Monkey says, yes. River Girl says, err. <clears throat> Chris says, I shall smite Wiz. Jason was a hero to the end. All right, we're smiting Wiz. Which one was it? Oh, you said it's so late. I can't spite. Sm there it is. I can't. I can't smite it. Uh, smite. Smited. Wiz Monkey was message was smited. <laughs> Sorry, but Chris is Poseidon. Chris is a god. Chris can smite anyone at any time for any reason. He don't even need to have a reason. He's Poseidon. He can do what he wants. He's a god. Chris has the power of smite. Uh, handcuff Bob. D says what? River Girl says Bob is good. D says, I wear shirts. It was a sleeveless. Adi says, Kelly is naked. Brody says, oh no, Dom is evil. <laughs> Wiz Monkey says, I'm just saying Bob was the saddest death. I agree. D says, so sometimes she's half naked. Arnaud says, uh. Wiz Monkey says, no. <laughs> Adi says, you're very angry a lot. Uh, Wiz Monkey says, why? <laughs> Wiz Monkey, you're funny. <laughs> Fear Chase Lover says, yawns. Leo, I need coffee so I don't fall asleep. Okay, coming right up. And while you're making it, make me some too. <laughs> Wiz Monkey says, but Bob. D says, yeah, I get angry a lot. Well, you can come here and chill out and relax with us. Brody says, bruh, what are we talking about? River Girl says, is there another stream today? There's a lot of streams today. Wiz Monkey says, Bob. <clears throat> as soon as we're done with this um, pre-stream podcast, we're going to jump right into the Trials of Apollo. And then... Um, Maybe right after, I don't know. We'll see how long it is. Um, I'm checking right now. Yeah, we might jump right into the Lightning Thief after that. We also got a lot of gaming to do. We got to do um, a couple of hours of The Last of Us. So you guys are definitely getting videos today. <clears throat> River Girl says, Bobby! D says, everyone in their own universe. Adi says, so do I, probably more than you. River Girl says, happy! <laughs> River Girl, you're awesome. Uh, Wiz Monkey says, small Bob. Brody says, hold up, let me catch up real quick before we start. D says, is it a River Girl? Uh, Poseidon says, 40-minute pre-stream, this is fantastic. Well, I'm glad you like it. Um, what I do, Chris, is the more people that watch, the longer I stream. As long as there's 10 people in the room, you guys should most likely always get a longer than 30-minute pre-stream. Um, if we don't have 10 people, then it's just like, uh, I need at least 10 people. So if there's not 10, I usually stop at 30. Uh, we used to do hours every day, but just people stopped showing up. Names of Heart says, NGL, when I first read The Burning Maze, I'd already gotten spoiled on Jason dying. When it actually happened, it wasn't hurt by the actual death, but rather people's reactions to it. Makes sense. Arnav says, yeah. River Girl says, I know, that's he, Bob. Names of Heart says, people's reaction to it made me cry. Yeah, that's pretty tough. I agree. I agree. Name, um, Wiz Monkey says, please unsmite me, please. He only Smites are quick. All, all a smite is... I do two different smites, Wiz. One, it erases a specific, a specific message, and that's what my gods have the power to do. The other smite is a, when I put people on a timeout, or my bots put people on a timeout, and that, that's, that's me privilege. So my, 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 my gods won't put you on a timeout, don't worry. But they can smite your messages as much as they want. Because <laughs> gods are gods. You know, gods have the power to smite. That's one of the benefits of being a god, and since we only have one god... Chris has free reign. Chris Chris has complete power. He has ultimate, complete, destructive Poseidon power. <laughs> um, let's see. D says, I know Uncle Rick Rayordan is releasing a 
TJO TV show on Disney? He is. RNF says it became nine. I uh, no, we're at thirteen right now. River Girl says DMK. Wiz Monkey says yee. RNF says ten now. River Girl says eh, I still like the books better. Same. Wiz Monkey says but but D says hope isn't like the movies. Hope it isn't like the movies. I also hope it's not. Um, Brody says, wait, is there a fourth tier in Patreon? There is not right now, but I'm open to ideas. If you guys have some ideas, if somebody wants to be a fourth tier and has ideas, tell me, and I will think about it and see how well it can be made. But right now, I, I just don't have any ideas. I mean, third tier becoming a god seems like a pretty good idea. Um, if I made a fourth tier, it would probably be like, um, it would probably be like a titan. You could be a titan, and I uh, i don't know what I would do for a reward. See what I'm saying? I don't want to make a tier without a reward. You guys have to get something out of it. I want to make something that you guys, you know, feel like you actually get. You see what I'm saying? Uh, Wizmonkey says, Small Bob. Arnav says, It had. D says, And more like the book so I can convince my cousins to join the Riordan verse. Yeah, I agree. Wizmonkey says, Ultimate power over the universe. Frio Chase Lover says, I can't stay awake. Yes, you can. Drink some coffee. Clap. Jump up and down. Do a cartwheel. Sing me a song. You have to stay awake. Or even if you don't, if you fall asleep, you have to fall asleep here. You can snuggle. You can snuggle while you sleep, but you're not allowed to go anywhere. Adi says, make it one of the principal gods. Uh, Brody says, nobody could be tier 5, because like you would be Gaia of this channel. Yeah, that's the problem though, Brody, is I want to make more tiers, but I don't have any rewards to give you guys. So why make something if I can't give you something? I mean, I'm sure some of you guys would still do it, but that's I, I want to give you something. I want to make you feel like you got something special. Um, like I said, once we get um, like 50,000 people and we start doing merchandise, um, then I, I'll probably do a Tier 4, and Tier 4 you'll get free merchandise, I think. I think that's how I'm going to do it. That way you guys just get free clothing, hoodies, shirts, um, socks, stuff like that, just for being... Um, a tier four. That's probably what I'll do then. But we have to grow first. You guys got to help me grow so we can get to that level. Um, let's see. Wizmonkey says you can't escape me, Don Bob. D says epic smackdown. Harry Potter versus PGO fans. PGO would win hands down. River Girl says names you kind of spoiled during Burning Maze for some people. Eh, it's part of the channel. Primordial. Yeah, R River Girl. It's just what I do. I mean, I pronounce it the way I pronounce it. Some people like it. Some people don't. It's just part of the uh, appeal of being on my channel. I'm not perfect. I make mistakes, and uh, some people like that. Arnav says, I'm I'm Eolus on Discord. D says, I'm, I'm both, so I can't say anything. Wizmonkey says, Tier 4 should be Bob or Wizmonkey. <laughs> Names are hard, says it's been... It's already been read on this channel, though, and other people were talking about it here. True. Adi says, Arnav, I think you're, t you're in Terror Server. D says, I, I'm i used to spoiling, no worries. Names are hard, says, how's it my fault? Um, there's no spoilers. I haven't seen any spoilers today. You guys are good. I, I read every every message, so you guys know I'm paying attention. Uh, names are hard, uh, WizMonkey says, Socks Bob. Chris Lover says, Titans above gods? Never. <laughs> I think that's what I'm going to do, Chris, though. I think Titan's going to be tier four. <laughs> I don't know yet. Um... Fio Chase Lover says, how is socks? Right now, we're going to stick with Tier 3 for a while. Um, <clears throat> socks is good. Socks is actually a lot more friendly to Loki today and yesterday, and she loves jumping with a toy. Socks is being really sweet. I like it. She was even sleeping on my lap for a while. Um, Adi says, you said principal. Principal. Uh, River Girl says, yeah, I'm just saying that people didn't listen to it yet. Oh, I see. D says... Who drew Steven Universe? Yeah, like that. I knew who that was too. Like, you know, like, hey, I know that. Brody says it would be dope to have demigod merch. I agree, Brody. I agree. We just got to get the people. I need enough people to do merch, and I really can't do merch for less than fifty thousand subs. So once we get fifty thousand, we'll just start doing merch. And there's gonna be a lot of free merch. You guys should know by now. My channel's generous. I'm going to be giving you guys stuff. So let's get people in here. Let's let's build my channel so we can do merch. That's a good idea. Uh, Science Keeper says, Firo, try resisting Hypnosis Power. Chris says, what about a Head Counselor Centurion tier? Ooh, that's not a bad idea, Chris. I like that. Uh, what would what would the prizes be? What would you guys get out of it? You guys have to get something out of it, because I want to give you stuff. So, Wizmonkey says, Campfire Song. Uh, I know the Campfire Song. 
Adi says no primordial primordial gods. D says I think hypnosis is put in spiel a spell on you, Firo. River Girl says it's okay though. I was just kidding. D spell. <laughs> River Girl, you're so cute. Names of Heart says okay, cool. Arna says how to check tier. Um, we only have two two right now, or we have three tiers. We have Chris, which is a tier three, a god Poseidon, and we have Scotty, which is a tier two, a demigod. If you guys want to check more, go to Patreon and look up Domination Reading Channel or check in the description down below. That'll give you more information about that. <clears throat> River Girl cries. Aw. D says, yeah, I'm not used to having autocorrect not do anything. Fio Chase Lover says, does Socks love to snuggle with you? Socks does love to snuggle with me. Socks is very cute and adorable, and I love it so much. Adi says, I don't know if your name is Harry. Your name, Harry and Terror's server Discord. D says, how to create a server in Discord? <coughs> you just make a Discord. Fio Chase Lover says, yes, Clovis is making me sleepy. Aww. Adi says, I'll make a video on that, D. <coughs> okay. So I think my voice is ready. I think this is a good pre-stream. I think we had a good time. Um, we could pre-stream for another nine minutes. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And then we'll stop the pre-stream. And we'll jump right into the trials of Apollo. That sounds good to me. You guys like that idea? <coughs> Everybody's starting to get a little bit quiet, too. So that tells me we should probably end the stream soon. D says, because my friends and I formed kind of a guild yesterday, we're going to have a few meetings, so I want to connect them on Discord. Chris says, if you're ever bored, Dom, they made a full cast recording of Percy Jackson, The Lightning Thief. It's a good musical. You know, I heard of that, Chris. I just haven't checked it out. Thank you for the suggestion. I might have to go check it out. That's a really good idea. I heard it was good also. I just says, oh, um, Melly, make a video to show you. Uh, D says, and please help. Fio Chase Lover says, goodbye. No. No. No, Fiero. Those handcuffs are super strong. They're, they're, um... Stygian iron, you're mixed with celestial bronze. You are not going anywhere. Wiz Monkey says it's the third official meeting of Bob is officially started. D says make a PGO rap soon. <laughs> Dom, what is a guild, not guitar? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, D says I'm working on a rap about cheese. Well, that sounds quite interesting. Cheese, cheese. I like some cheese, please. If you know what I mean, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I get on my knees when I beg for some cheese. I don't got fleas. I know what I need. Uh, Brody says, "Is there a name for normal people who can see the bad guys in PJO universe, like Muggles and Harry Potter?" Um, there's not a name for them, but there's um Rachel Elizabeth Dare. She can do it, so it's definitely possible. But they don't have a name for those kind of people. They just say that they're stronger at resisting the mist. Names of Heart says it's a really good musical. I listen to it while cleaning my room and packing. <clears throat> ID says, what is a guild D? D says, it's a group of people in a private server playing games and hanging out. Wiz says, Dom Rap Bob. <laughs> uh, ID says, um, like Rachel. D says, there is a word, mortal. That's the word. Uh, Wiz Monkey says, Mist Seer. ID says, mortal oracles. Well, no, you, you could see through the mist without being an oracle. Just Rachel just happened to see through the mist and become an oracle. I don't think those things um, had any effect on each other. Or it didn't mean that one meant the other. <clears throat> Fjord Chase Lover says, But Hypno's kids are making me extremely sleepy. Yawn. That's okay. You got willpower, Fjord. You got willpower and special handcuffs. You can do it. You can stay. You are you are supposed to be here. Chris says, A clear-sighted mortal. That, yeah, a clear-sighted mortal. Because they can see through the mist. That makes sense. Brody says, Ooh, that makes sense. TQ Alpha finally made it. I think TQ Alpha, like, I think what you do is... It doesn't matter whether I'm doing a 10-minute stream, a half-an-hour stream, or an hour stream. You always come in in the last five minutes. So I think what happens is TQ Alpha, like, peaks in the channel. He's like, okay, let's see how much longer he's going to stream for. He's going to stream for another 20 minutes, so I'm going to come back in 15 minutes. <laughs> or, or if I say, hey, I've only got two minutes left, TQ Alpha's like, oh, oh, two minutes. Hey, I'm here. I'm TQ Alpha. <laughs> uh, Adi says, about the missed mortals, let's agree it's okay to face the wrath of Sojwadi. D says, yeah, my dad is like hypnosis of the family. Wizmonkey says, no, Fiero, you must stay. Arnav says, bow, mortal, and a banana has arrived. D says, I'm the Athena of the house. Uh, D says, my sis is the Aphrodite. Names of Heart says, well, see, I think it said in the book that the fact that she could see through the mist meant that she was compatible enough to become the Oracle. Um, I don't, I don't know Names is Hard. Reason being is because 
there's four oracles and most of the oracles were around for thousands of years and there's been people that can see through the mist during those thousands of years so maybe they're compatible to be an oracle but that does not necessarily mean that they can't even become an oracle or even have a chance to be an oracle it's just there was no oracle Rachel could see through the mist and they needed an oracle and she had the power to see to um, see prophecy I, I don't think seeing through the mist and reading prophecy is the same thing but that's just my opinion I don't know but my mom she's like Hestia names are hard says at least that's what I gleaned from it Adi says agree with the name of the Miss Morals Wiz Monkey says I am the Hades uh, Adi says the, I know um, I are face the wrath of Swazwadi Wiz Monkey says Yeebob Arnav says nah Fear Chase Lover says Clovis stop making me feel extremely sleepy because you're yawning and Clovis yawns and then I yawn Wiz Monkey says Deathhead uh, Brody says you got any ideas for things to put on merch actually I got some good ideas Brody um, we're going to do um, PGO stuff. We're going to do all the symbols of the major gods. Like Poseidon's going to be a big, awesome-looking trident. So, like, for example, the socks. The socks are going to have a trident that goes all the way down your shin. Um, the, the the hoodies are going to have a trident over the uh, over the left breast. You know, like the little symbol there. And cover the whole back of the uh, hoodie. Um, same thing with the T-shirt. I have a lot of ideas for merch. We're going to do... We got. I got a lot of ideas. Uh, I could always use more ideas, but we're not going to be able to do merch until I get 50,000. I just can't do merch until 50,000 people. But I'm ready for it. I'm excited for it. I want merch. I would love to do merch on this channel. Um, and then we're going to do special novelty stuff, like um, like uh, socks with uh, little wings on the back for like Hermes shoes and stuff like that. We're going we're gonna to do some really, really good merch. Wizmonkey says, yay, sign keeper says, yay, PGO merch. And all of it's going to have my my name on it, too. DJ, um, C, Domination, or DRC, Domination Reading Channel. So that's one of the contests that we're going to be running probably in a couple weeks, is I need to make a symbol for my channel. Um, it's going to be my, my name, DRC, Domination Reading Channel. And uh, it'll be a contest for people to put DRC together in a pattern, so you can still see that it says DRC. And, it, it, and it'll also be a nice-looking symbol like a D and then the end of the D cuts into the R and then the C like hangs off the bottom line of the R or something like that, whatever. We'll just get a whole bunch of ideas and find the one that we like the best. Um, we're, I'm going to announce that though probably next week. Um, I was kind of waiting for October to happen to do it, but we might do it in September. So don't worry, there's some contests coming out, you guys. Um, oh my god, you got dope ideas, man. Thanks, Brody. Uh, Adi says, not your profile pic on your shirt. Yeah, I know. Brody says, but bro, you're going to make so much bank off this merch. I'm not really worried about that, though, Brody. Um, I would like to, but I'm going to be giving you guys a lot of merch. Like, the people that are tiered on my Patreon, they're going to be getting free merch. I'm not going to make any money off that. So my channel is not about making money. It's about getting attention, and I want more attention. So if that's going to get me more attention, I'm definitely going to do it. Uh, Adi says, then symbol. Phil Chase Lover says, someone knocked Clovis, son of Hypno's out, so I don't pass out. Uh, I think, I think, um... I think Nico and um, Festus are already on it. I think they got it for you. Wizmonkey says, Bob. Um, Chris says, I must say I'm a fan of Rick, Riordan, Rick Riordan, huh? If only a ton of successful people are demigods, hmm. If only he had an awesome, super powerful father that made sure he was successful, hmm, interesting. <laughs> oh, you mean like someone like Poseidon, maybe? <laughs> nice one. Uh, Adi says, when will it be? When will what be? You mean the contest? I'm not sure yet. It won't be long, though. It'll be soon. <clears throat> Within the next couple weeks. Wizmonkey says, Be gone, Clovis. Okay, guys, we are down to the last minute. We did an hour pre-stream podcast today. I liked it. I had a good time. We had over 10 people the whole time. That makes me feel happy. A lot of participation. You guys did great this morning. Thank you so much. Um, we're actually going to stop the stream in a minute and jump into the Trials of Apollo. So I want to say thank you guys for a great morning and a really good stream. Namesar says, I wish I could help spreading the word about this channel, but last I have only a small amount of friends. It seemed uh, audiobooks and stuff. Well, you never know. You never know, Names. Tell everybody. You guys got to help me grow. If you guys want a bigger channel, you guys want more stuff, more merch, more videos, more content, you guys got to tell people. That's how we grow. Word of mouth. Let people know. Tell your school friends. Tell your school bullies. Tell anybody you like or dislike. Spread the word and we can be a bigger channel. Um, <clears throat> Phil Chase Lover says I'm going to go sleep bye bye you'll miss the readings if you go you can't go uh, and no handcuffs Wizmonkey says okay bye Dom Chris says thanks for the morning podcast it was a great way to wake up I agree Chris 
It is a huge, great way to wake up. Come back tomorrow. We do this every day. Every day that I don't like sleep through. But every day. <laughs> um, Arnav says, I did lots of people. Brody says, much love and work ethic on this channel is impressive. Thank you, Brody. Sign Keeper says, you know, Dom is also a gaming channel. I used to be. I do it a little bit now. We'll be doing some um, uh, The Last of Us in a little bit, too. A couple hours today. Everyone says, bye, bye, bye. Oh, yeah, guys, so make sure you come back for more. You guys got the Discord information in the bottom. You got the Patreon information in the bottom. One final shout-out to Scotty, our demigod. One final shout-out to Chris, Poseidon, God of the Seas. And I will see you guys in just a couple minutes for the Trials of Apollo. Thank you guys for listening, and we'll be right back. Bye, guys. Tee-hee.